anger, flunking, failing, being held back, repeating a grade. These are all words that have been used to describe retention over the years, and they are not positive words. Study after study has shown that holding a child back or making him re repeat a grade is not an effective intervention for a struggling student. In fact, traditional retention has shown to have a very negative impact on the long-term success of a student. Many of us know students or have heard about them in the course of considering this bill that have been held back and as a result have suffered the negative social and emotional consequences of retention. And students who have experienced the traditional practice of retention are more than twice as likely to drop out of high school. The amendment I offer today would simply push back the implementation date of the retention aspect of this bill by one year. To be clear, all the services and supports provided for in the bill would still begin immediately. Delaying just the retention aspect of this bill for one year would allow struggling readers to get the support and the interventions and attention they need for all of kindergarten, all of first grade, second grade, and third grade before they face the possibility of retention at the end of third grade. Retaining a struggling reader at the end of third grade without the benefit of these interventions simply makes a struggling student all the more vulnerable to the negative social, emotional, and academic consequences of retention. Holding back our current first and second graders after what will be only one or maybe two years of intervention and support when the bill intends to provide four years of support is just not fair to our kids. The thing that I like about this bill, the thing that makes this different than just holding a child back or having them repeat a grade, is the intervention that would be provided. Individualized reading plans, efforts requiring schools to work with parents and parents to work with schools, continuing support for classroom teachers and how to help kids who need it the most, and periodic assessments so that we know as early as the beginning of kindergarten and first grade who needs a little extra help and who needs a lot of extra help to be reading on track as soon as possible. The interventions that have been added to this bill are what make it worth supporting. In the last two terms, this bill has gone from a few lines saying we should just flunk a kid who can't read at the end of third grade to uh, 16 pages with a lot of interventions and support. And I'd like to thank the bill sponsor and the Democratic vice chair for the hard work they did to, do, to include those things. But bringing down the hammer of retention without providing the best support we can from the time a child starts school is not good policy. It's just flunking kids, and we know that doesn't work. Colleagues, I urge you to support the first and second graders in your district and across the state by supporting this amendment to make the retention aspect of this bill effective just one year later. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Brinks. The question before the House is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.